everyone, it's Clint here. Today I am going to do my first impressions and a first comparison of the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch Classic. Um, so far, uh, they've both been great devices, and I just want to have had them for about five days. And I just want to do a quick, quick walkthrough and a quick comparison. Um, here's our boxes for all three, a little bit different this year. Um, a little bit different, not too much different though. All right, you didn't come here for the boxes. Let's get the, the watches out. Okay, we're back with these beautiful watches. Here we have the Galaxy Watch 4 in the 44 millimeter, uh, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic in the 46 millimeter, and the Galaxy Watch 3 in the 45 millimeter. Um, all of these are great watches. Of course, the biggest difference is this one's running Tizen, and this one is running Wear OS, which, of course, is a pretty big deal uh, in the, the smartwatch world here. So let's take a look at these, uh, the design of each of these watches. As you can tell just by looking, the Classic and the Galaxy Watch 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic look very similar. Uh, in appearance. Uh, this one, of course, is the black version. This is the stainless steel version. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at the screens on all three of these. These two have the same screen, and this one has a different screen, but they're all really nice, um, really nice screens. Uh, these two are noticeably better, and that's only because of the difference in resolution. Samsung bumped up the resolution on these two watches. So this one is 360 by 360. This one is uh, 450 by 450, 450 by 450. You can't really tell, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can definitely tell in person that there is uh, a higher resolution on the Watch 4. Um, it looks really nice. Uh, I always thought the, the Watch 3 though was, was really good too, so not that big of a deal. Okay, so uh, let's pull these ones up. Of course, the biggest thing you see different here are the buttons. Uh, the buttons are uh, round on the three and more of a rectangle on the four. You got that nice red um, indicator on the top button. Um, on this side, it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, big difference here. On the bottom, well, actually not the bottom, but the bottom and the top are the watch straps. The Watch 3 has uh, 22 millimeter watch straps, and the uh, Watch 4, both of them have uh, 20 millimeter watch straps. So that's that's a pretty big difference, at least to me. Uh, and my poor Watchman collection um, is suffering because of that change. Um, otherwise, pretty similar, uh, pretty similar in weight and uh, dimensions. Uh, let's see, the weight of the Classic here is 40, 52 grams, sorry, 52 grams, and the Watch 3 was 53.8 grams, so it is a little bit lighter. It feels lighter on, um, on the wrist, I guess you could say, uh, as far as thickness goes. Um, they're very similar. The Watch 3 was 11.1 .1 millimeters and the new Watch 4 is uh, 11 millimeters. So we're only talking about 0.1 millimeters, but it feels smaller. Okay, it's really hard to tell, but here on the side, it looks like the, the Watch 4 is flatter on the bottom. And I think that's what makes it feel different. It's a little bit more of a curve on the Watch 3. And I think that's what makes that a little bit different feeling on the wrist. It feels a lot smaller on the wrist um, than it does, um, the Watch 3 does. The Watch 4 feels a lot smaller. Um, but if you compare it with the regular Galaxy Watch 4, really is no contest. Uh, this guy is super thin, super, super thin, um, and very light. Uh, you don't even feel this on your wrist. Um, at all, it feels light and really easy. And I, I think that's because it's replacing the Active 2, which was also a, a smaller, lighter watch. Um, so if you're looking for a smaller, lighter watch, um, definitely the, the 4 is, is it. 
Okay, speed wise, they're both very fast. They go through the uh, op the tiles uh, really quickly. They both feel just as snappy. Um, it's one of the reasons we like Tizen, right? Was because it is uh, always quick. Um, it does hang a little bit in the transitions, um, and this one, uh, the the watch board does not. I mean, it just it just really is quick the entire time. So, uh, never had a problem. And then if you go to uh, the app drawer, which is totally different here, sorry. Uh, and the apps, so you got the apps. And of course, you know, that's the biggest thing, right? Is we got apps. Woohoo! Over here, we have lots of apps. Uh, I've installed a bunch of apps yet. Um, just a few that I've needed. Um, you can tell the one I'm, I'm using right now is the four classic because I keep having to unlock it. Um, yeah, super, super fast uh, on both of them. Uh, but however, I still think the watch four is faster. Uh, another big, big difference between these is uh, the speed of Bigsby. Okay, Bigsby works differently. Uh, we, we got the top button activates it on the four and the bottom button press and hold activates it on the three. So that's a little bit different. What is the current weather in Denver, Colorado? In Denver, Colorado, it is sunny and 96 degrees right now. Wow. Bixby on the three was was killing it there today. What time is it? Today in Denver, Colorado, the sunset will be at 7.16 p.m. That's not what I asked. <laughs> but close. Um, who is the President of the United States? And there you go. So it even still does not work properly. It is definitely still Bigsby and there is no Google Assistant on this watch yet. So that's kind of a bummer, but uh, in my day to day, um, I found that uh, Bigsby works uh, a little faster than it did before. One of my biggest use case scenarios is setting timers. Set timer for 15 minutes. There you go. Now you can see the um, um, UI is a little bit different here on this one than that one, but it still works uh, pretty good. So biggest thing I noticed is Bixby actually working uh, faster. If you didn't notice, when you push the button, Bixby comes up a lot faster uh, than when you do on this one. Um, so that is definitely one thing I've noticed uh, that I like a lot. Uh, watch strap um, is a silicone kind of affair. It's okay. Um, I definitely do like the ones that come all the way up into here. Um, that's really nice. I like that. Um, same thing, but they are different. Um, the, the Watch 4 and the Classic is a little bit different. A little bit different design. They have, it has like a little, uh, I guess, uh, pointed end. A little bit of a design element here to try to make it look nicer, but they feel like the same uh silicone rubber type uh, strap that we're used to having um it's good enough i guess um i like it okay we'll put one on let me show you the diff on uh, watch classic on the wrist there we go that's what it looks like on the wrist and compare it to the regular Galaxy Watch 4 on the wrist. That's the way it looks on there. This is how it looks on here. Uh, even though they both have the same screen size, you can tell that the Classic just looks bigger. Um, and it is, I guess it is technically bigger. Uh, this one's all screen. Um, and this one, whoa. And this one is uh, got that extra bezel uh, and a little bit wider, so I think it makes it look um, a little bit bigger. Big difference between the, the the classic and the regular watch four is the rotating crown. Uh, this is really nice to have. Um, I really like it. It works. It works flawlessly. There is some um, some oddity sometimes in 
some of the software that doesn't seem to work with it and you have to go back to um, go back to doing it by touching the screen but I'm sure they'll get those bugs worked out uh, in the next couple of updates and then of course this one here has um, the touch bezel and it it doesn't work nearly as good and I, and I think it's because I don't hit it right away like you know the physical bezel you just know where it's at every time by this one here it's it takes it a second to get going like it takes it a while for it to decide that you're spinning it um, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, it just, I probably just need a little practice, a little more muscle memory. Uh, the, the edge is not touch. So anybody that tells you it's a touch bezel is not accurate. That bezel does not touch. Uh, you have to go into where the screen is at and start doing it there and then it picks it up. Um, so yeah, not a touch bezel. All right, guys, so yeah, battery uh, so far has been pretty good. Um, I got a, a battery test already um, video up. If you wanted to take a look at that, I'll have that link in the bottom. Um, and um, so far, I'm very pleased. Um, I'll do a long, a more long, longer term use uh, review once I've used it longer. I'm also working on a fitness review and I'll do a comparison between uh, the four and probably the Apple Watch, uh, since that one's pretty accurate. Um, and I'll uh, do, do that in different sections. So that's all I got for today. I really appreciate everybody staying uh, around to the end and uh, we'll see you on the next one.